put it this way, if I made some sort of life decisions that resulted in me having children and I had to have a large vehicle, this is pretty cool. This is nice. It all right, hey guys, what's up? Today we're here at Frank Subaru to look at some of the 2019s. Uh, they have a little event going on, they're showing off the uh, the Ascent, and then we're gonna look at the Forester, and then we'll see what other 2019 Subarus they have for us. All right, so helping me out today, I have the crew here. We got Ruel, what's up, dude? We got Brett, Brianna, Brendan. Demon Weenie. Weenie dog, don't bite me, dude. He's a biter. We got Ruel, we got Brianna and Brett here. Brendan with his purple hatch. Beautiful lineup right here. So here they have the Series Gray BRZ. We'll take a closer look in a little bit, but if you guys watched my video from Subi Fest, they had one of these on display. All right, the boys found the Series Gray WRX. Yeah. So over here they have a cross track, and if you'll notice, like right here on the sales floor, they have the Method wheels and the BF Goodrich tires. I'm gonna let Brett tell you about it because he bought one. Yeah. So same one, uh, Method wheels, KO2s. Inch and a half by King Lift, automatic. You can get them in uh, manual as well, but you have to buy the base model. Cause yours is manual, right? Yep. Yeah, to me this is the coolest thing. Like, and not all dealerships offer this, right? No, exactly. So when you buy it from here and you get these things done here, they warranty their stuff. Yeah, a lot of dealerships aren't adding this extra. And then what's cool, what's so cool to me, is it's included um, as part of your your warranty. So if there were to be something uh, to go wrong with this. Um, you know, Frank Subaru's got you. Um, they have a little taco taco stand set up, so we're gonna go eat some tacos first. set for us to, uh, to test drive here in a minute. We've done a ride along in one, uh, but I haven't actually ever driven one, so we're gonna see if they can uh, make that wish come true for me today. All right, here we go. Looks like this is gonna be the one that we're gonna test drive. Brown, it's a very REI color. Oh, this has electronic seat adjustment. Very nice. Japan. So this is a turbocharged ascent. So uh, two point. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? Two point one. Two point four. Two point four. Two point four. Yeah. Two point four, bro. You know what's going? So. <laughs> I know. There's no hood scoop on this, but they have a cool little induction system that takes air in. Um, the uh, the last generation Forester had that too. They did so much engineering to get rid of that scoop, and I love the scoop, mm -hmm. but it's it's engineered so that. I guess there's a little slit like right above at the very top of the grill that just funnels air straight into the uh, intercooler. Yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can uh, get that open. Oh, oh. oh. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Oh. Alright, you guys ready? We're gonna take the ramp here, which when Emma drove this, um, got that big sun. Pay attention to the uh, body roll here. So, I don't know. We got this little is that an accent, little Hyundai. Hi. <laughs> It's very comfortable though. That's this turn tight for SUV. Yeah, no, there really isn't a lot of body roll. Yeah. The steering wheel is really cool. It's not like too big. Like, it, in, my, it, in my legacy, like the steering wheel is like humongous. It looks kind of small and sporty, huh? Yeah, it is, and it feels small and sporty. It's got the little thumb hooks here, like the like the uh, WRXs. Uh, the material is very comfortable. If I remember correctly, because Cobb put out an email mm -hmm. saying that they were gonna. I met your dad. Uh, Put usability for the Type RA, which they've already done, and they were also going to do the new WRX and STI for the 2019s, and they were working on something for the Ascent. Don't quote me on that. I'm not sure. You That's just said it. Yeah. It's been quoted. It's That's you. It. It's um, quoted. Just quote Brendan on it. Brendan, and if Brendan they don't do it, go ahead and hit Brendan up. Like, hey. Blur pull rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I turned off the uh, the AC for a second here. So we oh, kinda... race car noise. Oh, oh, race car. Let's turn that off. There is one thing I think I am feeling a little bit of lag. <laughs> a little bit turbo lag. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Flying to Here we go. Oh. Yeah. That is genuinely surprising. <laughs> wow. 
So, what's the red line on this? Six, six thousand. Oh. Thumbs up, up, thumbs up for the uh, the turbo boost in this. That took off pretty hard. I did take off pretty hard. All right, Brendan's turn to drive. The minute Brendan took off, the dog started crying. I've heard they can sense danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. Wow. Right. So it actually went up to six thousand. That has to be the fastest accelerating four-cylinder in a full-size SUV that exists. Oh, we're all right. back home with the dealership now. So we're oh, looking for a... Just hard. waiting for us to come back. We want to bump some tunes, so... Harmon Carden. All right, so thank you so much to Frank Subaru for letting us test drive the ascent here um, really an awesome experience something I've been wanting to do since our first ascent video the the ascent it didn't disappoint I thought the uh, four-cylinder turbo would be a little underwhelming but actually it performed very very well reacts a lot like a, a WRX would but you definitely feel the extra weight and we were fully loaded the car was full, filled with uh, seven people but other than that it actually was very sporty. I hope that uh, this little review helps out um, any of you guys considering this vehicle. If you have any other questions, um, you know, comment down below and I'll, I'll re reply to your question, uh, questions as best I can. I have everybody here just looking at me while I'm vlogging, so it's like super nerve wracking. I have like a little, you have the camera and then you have the audience. I won! You won! Got a camera and I got two cameras. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, right, a little hookup I got from Frank Subaru, a little bag here with the Subaru logo. What is, the, what is this? Like close is this up. bag for the camera? Yeah. Very cool giveaway guys, thank you so much. Let's take a look at the, uh, the Series Grey BRZ. Reminds me a lot of the, uh, the TS. It's actually a different spoiler, it's not a TS spoiler, but it's got the Brembo kit. All right, so Marco's with the customer, so I don't know if he's gonna be able to walk us through the Forester, but if I can catch him, I'll get him to do it. But if not, uh, me and Ruel will just like walk through it. So he said that for 2019, the uh, the Forester has probably gotten the most changes out of any car. So here it is, 2019 Forester in the sport trim. So we'll start on the inside. I feel like I don't film the inside of cars a lot. So it's got orange accents everywhere. It's got the orange stitching. There's the same metallic orange accent on the rack, down on the kind of like outside the rocker panel down there. Um, everything in it kind of feels, kind of feels outdoorsy sort of. It feels like an outdoor, like a almost like that Osprey brand. Yeah. Almost feels like one of their backpacks. Like a, yeah, like a camping backpack or something. I do like the orange stitching everywhere, even on the steering wheel. So on the outside of the vehicle, there's also plenty of orange. Got an orange trim down there. There's the orange trim on the on the roof rails. And as we come around to the back, the orange sport badge. There's also a little orange trim on the bottom of the bumper. They've changed the taillights for 2019. All right, so that's going to be it for today. Um, really great day overall. Got the test drive and ascent. Got to take a look at the new 2019 Forester, Forester Sport. Uh, got to eat some free tacos, and I won a camera. So um, thank you so much to uh, Frank Subaru, Mustang and Honda race. My best on the gray one. Thank you so much uh, to Frank Subaru for having me today. Uh, if you guys watched to the end, hopefully this helped you guys out. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Alright, later guys.